We ready? Hey guys, it's Ben from Media's Play Games. Today, I'll give you my baby deck profile. I played this leader for uh, the Oceanics, but I did pretty bad because I didn't really know what I was playing with build and all that. So this is a different build than what I was playing for the event. But um, yeah, yeah. So baby, why baby? I feel like he was a really good meta choice, but. I was an idiot for playing the type of build that I was. I was playing really mid range and no real end game. Um, so yeah, um, his awakened side's insane. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. I play four Divine Aid Vardos. Fuck Handy Giro because he's a little bitch. Vardos is the way to go. I play two M two. Um, I, I wasn't playing this uh, for the event, but now going back to it, I really should have just played these. Two's the right number because you know. Um, if you play three, you just brick too much, and yeah, so two M two, and you can only do you uh, like use it during your own turn. Um, it mainly just beats down um, announcer decks. I play four Revenge Death Balls, probably the strongest card in this deck, maybe in the game if we really think about how the value works for this, because really it's just a one mana twenty five k boost if you're doing it on one thing, but you can pop other things on the field. Like, two of these will kill most things in the game. So, yeah. Uh, I play four Sensu Bean because I am playing blue. Sensu Bean is really good because um, you can, like, bean your leader, bean your other things. Like, beaning a Digging Deep and swing for 25 uh, every, like, every single time it attacks. It's pretty big. Um, and two, uh, like, uh, playing God Zeno. Reason why only two, because I was playing at three and I see, saw it every single game opening hand and I really didn't want to see it opening hand. Because like, if you mana one, then it's kind of like, well, I could see it down the track and I might not see it down the track. Play three intensifying trunks. Um, three intensifying trunks I feel like is the correct number. You don't want to see it too late game when you've got one life left. So yeah, just three. Uh, four chain attack trunks, because chain attacking out your um, Zenos to get extra advantage, chaining attacking at your digging deeps, or in my case, chain attacking at your kind same uh, Sun Gokus. Um, so we are playing baby, so I do play a big uh, Vegeta GT engine. I play four training, uh, daily training Vegeta. Reason why I, I like playing it at four, because sometimes I just go turn two and just play this. Um, but that's not a lot of the time, but I do mo like, I do like drawing out my decks and just play that. Um, and three digging deep. If I had space, which I definitely do, I'd bump this up to four. Uh, but I like it at three. It's fine at three. I play four Baby Vengeance Unleashed. Um, a lot of the time, I am just playing this turn one. Uh, if the, if I'm not going up against something too aggro, I'll just play it turn one and then, like, you know, if I really wanted to, I could go, like, turn two this. So that's mainly why I play that at four. And then, of course, you need to play that at four. Um, and then four Baby... Uh, uh, Saiyan Strength Baby. This card's insane. Um, if you're versing like a swarm deck, you just like you can you can pretty much like go turn one, like play this, then turn two, play this, and then if you have multiple of these in hand, you can just keep summoning these from deck off the same thing. So it's pretty insane. I play three foreseeing hit. Um, foreseeing hit's like really good. You steal everyone's like if you're versing in like the announcer decks, you just steal their um, like their all their announcer stuff that draws and all that and all their negates like the Videls. Um, and it just can tell you if you, like, of course, if you can go for game that turn or not. And then the white and light and fast hit. Um, lightning fast hit just to, you know, to cheese out games with these two. Um, I play three glory obsessed, uh, Saiyan Vegeta's. Uh, Prince, of, Prince of Destruction Vegeta's. These things are insane. Um, these are baby Jirens, like, a few, like, a lot of the time I do go train attack trunks into these things. And then just swing down all the active mode stuff, it's insane. Um, I play two Scientist Fu because Scientist Fu is probably, I think it's the best card for this deck because I was playing it with like uh, Time Patrol Trunks, but Time Patrol Trunks kind of suck. And so I play two Kind Saiyan Gokus because I play the ultimate uh, uh, for Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Um, oh, yeah, Vegeta. No, Vegito. Yeah. So basically, you, you can go like turn six, you can play this for one. And then, like, because you'll usually have these on the field, because you can swing once and just restand it. You can go, like, six mana play this, like, swing with this twice, and then just evolve this over this. And I actually did that today, so it's pretty strong. 
Um, but a lot of the times you can just get it out like chain attack trunks and just like cheese out games with this. It's the first time I've actually ever played this card um, in a deck and the first time I ever played it, I actually got it off. So yeah, that's it for the deck profile guys. I hope you liked it. Um, fuck Phil McKay. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Nah, I actually love him. He's a really good guy. This track coming soon. <laughs> wakey, wakey, wakey. <laughs>